Hey everybody. Hey everybody, it's Brooke with The Buttered Home. Sorry, we have having issues trying to get both cameras going, but we are live on Memorial Day. And we hope that you all are enjoying your day and never forget what today really means. Uh, I saw a post earlier that said, uh, it kind of seems odd to say Happy Memorial Day because it's not really a happy time if you really think about it. Um, so remember that in all your celebrations today to honor those who have paid the ultimate price uh, to ensure that we have the freedoms that we so enjoy. Uh, and that's what Memorial Day is all about. Um, <clears throat> but we do no less participate in Memorial Day because before us, it, uh, for us, it kicks off the barbecue season or summer, uh, so to speak. So we like to celebrate. Uh, we have a uh, Boston butt ready and I've got some potato salad and butter beans in my um, milky pot and we're just gonna have a big day of eating and laying around. Just being honest. <laughs> if you're new here with us uh, at, the, at Messy Kitchen Monday, be sure that you drop a comment and let us know where you're watching from. Today is also a big day because this is your last chance to share this video on Facebook uh, and you guys over on Instagram, if you will be so kind, if you don't have access to Facebook, if you will just send me a direct message and let me know what your favorite thing today was uh, about what we're making, then you'll be entered to win too. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, we talked a lot about uh, barbecue season and <clears throat> all the different things that you like to do uh, for a cookout. And one of our favorite seasonings is hardened seasoning. So we're gonna be giving away a bottle of that. Uh, so all you people on Facebook, if you will comment, like this video and share it. But before you share it, make sure that your privacy settings are not set, are they're set to public so that I can see that you shared it. Otherwise you won't be entered into the drawing. And we will draw for that hardened seasoning uh, to be shipped to you um, sometime later in the week. So we're real excited to share the things that we love um, with all of you and we do that from time to time. Really a good bit between now and July because July is our blog anniversary, and we've got that coming up and it'll be here before you know it. So <laughs> today we are making probably my favorite barbecue side. Um, and it is a bacon cornbread salad. Now, one of the things in the South, I know we talked about macaroni salad and we talked about coleslaw earlier in the month. <clears throat> it is a way to take fresh components and um, really kind of dress them up. And this time of year kicks off, you know, for us here in the South, uh, a bountiful harvest of all the fresh things at your local farmer's market or directly out of your garden. It just, you know, there's just no end to, to what we do. Um, our tomatoes are not quite ready, but they're getting there. Um, so I was really hoping that I would have some of my tomatoes to share with you today, but we don't. So that's how it goes. <laughs> but this salad has no lettuce in it whatsoever. And you don't really need it. Now you could probably add it to it, but I just think that it would just take away from the basis of what the salad is. This bacon cornbread salad has all the texture lovers dream of anything you would want um, when you have like a really creamy base for it. And then you have the crunchiness of all the fresh vegetables that we're gonna add in and then uh, bacon, of course, I probably say that about three times, right? Bacon, because bacon makes, bacon is like butter. It makes everything better. <laughs> so uh, your bacon is certainly adds a smoky, crispy texture to this salad as well. But the star of the salad is this, and this is a big old pan of cornbread. And um, I like to use white lily cornmeal mix, but if you're in a pinch like I was today, you can also use that box Jiffy bread. And you just mix it up according to package directions and then you add about a half a cup of cheddar cheese to it and then pop it in the oven. This can be done ahead of time. And you can also 
like when I make dressing with cornbread, a lot of times I will make my cornbread ahead of time and I will wrap it up real good, uh, like with plastic wrap and with tin foil, and then put it in a freezer bag and freeze it so that you can have it for whenever you need it. And that applies here as well. So one of the things that I was gonna talk about today is just prepping your vegetables for this. Because this is um, got a lot in it, you have these really pretty plum tomatoes. So a lot of people call them cherry tomatoes, but they're just a little bit bigger than a cherry tomato. And you can slice these on the radius, or you can slice them side to side like I've done here. It doesn't matter. You can slice them any way that you want them, any way that you think your family would want them, and just slice those up. Uh, one thing that's really important to mention is before you do all this vegetable prep, wash your vegetables really well first. <clears throat> and so here I have some really pretty diced red onion and I have this diced celery. And you want your celery and onion to be all about the same size. So for my celery, celery can kind of be tricky to work with. So after I wash it and I trim the tops and the ends off, then I'll usually cut the stalks in half and then I will split them right down the middle into two smaller stalks because it just makes celery easier to cut. Uh, a lot of times celery is uneven and anytime you're working with a knife, you want to minimize your chances of cutting yourself. Trust me, been there, done that, right? Got a t-shirt. <laughs> Big D is sitting here with me today and he's watching me chop these vegetables and what's going through your brain? Don't cut yourself. <laughs> That's his staple thing is don't cut yourself. So I hear that all the time. And then the recipe calls for a medium sized bell pepper. Now, if you're like me and you get annoyed with all these seeds in the bell pepper, I'm gonna show you just a really quick trick on how to minimize the seed exposure to a bell pepper. And a lot, you'll see I've already done one side here. I'll turn it over on, on its head, and then I'll take a knife. And a lot of times, if you just cut just the edge and kind of cut down at an angle, you can cleanly get that side off and leave the seeds in the middle. Now, a lot of times you'll see that you've got a lot of membrane left, and I'm gonna show you how to deal with that in just a minute. But once you break that bell pepper down, you're only left with these nice clean slices and most of your seeds are intact in the center. I only lost about three, three seeds. So that's, that's a win for me because these sticky seeds, they get all on my nerves. But uh, the next thing you do, if you have that real thick membrane in there, like you'll see how I've got right there, you can just take a small paring knife and just gently trim that out. And it just comes, comes right out, just like that. Because that membrane in these peppers are bitter, so you really don't want that in your salad. So we're just gonna trim those right away. And they're so soft, you really could just take your thumbs and run it along there too, and it would just come, come right out a lot of times. But you also wanna cut your peppers about the same size as the rest of your vegetables. All of this creates a really nice base and a really nice fresh pop of flavor and texture in your salad. Uh, and then the dressing is really nothing more than a little minced garlic and mayonnaise. Uh, because you've got so much flavor going on here with all of your vegetables and then the bacon, because the saltiness of the bacon, you really don't need any more salt than that. And then the pepper, I don't add pepper to this because I like a lot of pepper on this, so I just leave it without and then add my pepper whenever I fix my portion on my plate. So this is one of those dressings. I mean, one of those salads where the dressing and the garlic and the vegetables, and then of course you have the natural salt and sugar in your um, cornbread are only the flavor components that you really need. And then I've got about four pieces of cooked bacon. 
and I'm just gonna trim those guys up. Okay. And then you just simply start to assemble. And it's really simple. And I love to do this in a big clear bowl because this is a beautiful salad to look at. It's, um, it's just as pretty as it is delicious. So you really wanna highlight that. So I'm gonna put that right there. And then we're gonna add in all of our vegetables. And I throw some across the counter. <laughs> and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some of the bacon in there, but not all of it, because we wanna dress the top of it just a little bit with a little bit of that bacon. So we're gonna put, I need to chop that up just a little bit better. We're gonna garnish the top with a little bit of this bacon <clears throat> and then mix the rest in there. So we're gonna just toss that in. And then I'm just gonna kind of toss those together and already it's just so pretty. It always looks like Christmas in there. <laughs> and now we're gonna set our garnish bacon to the side and I'm gonna flip out my cornbread. And this is also a good recipe to segue into what we're doing for June. June, we have lots of big plans. We're doing cooking with kids. So those are recipes that are not only delicious and not only easy enough to get your kids in the kitchen, but they're also fun. Uh, I started my girls cooking very early, very young, and it was so much fun for them. Cooking should be fun. So if you can start that early with your kids or your grandkids or your nieces or your nephews or your neighbor's kids, then by all means do that. So this recipe is a good segue into that because this is a fun one for kids to make too. You can prep and chop all the vegetables and have them help you mix everything up. So we're just gonna take our cornbread and we're simply going to just tear it apart. Doesn't matter. You can have little pieces, you can have big pieces, it just doesn't matter. And see, so you've got that cheese already in that cornbread from where it baked together. And add the whole thing. We're gonna put the whole thing in there. <laughs> and I mean, you probably want a big bowl. So now to that, we're going to add almost all of our cheese. We're gonna save a little to garnish the top with just cause we want that color in there. And then we're just gonna kind of mix everything up, fold it I would say, because this bowl is not at all big enough. I think I have one mixing bowl that can actually handle this. <laughs> but it's gonna deflate a little bit and I'll show you soon that it will. All right, so we got that good and mixed, and I'm gonna set that to the side. And here I have our dressing, and yeah, it's just mayonnaise, and, and that's all you need. You just need a binder. All your flavor is already in the bowl, so you don't really need anything else. But to this mayonnaise, we're gonna add just a little bit of minced garlic, because garlic is one of those things here in my house, like butter and bacon. It just makes everything better. So we're just gonna whip that garlic in with that mayonnaise. And then we're gonna put that right over the top. Let me get it where y'all can see it. Make sure we can see it. Set that to the side and then we're just gonna fold that in. Now it's not a lot of mayonnaise whenever you compare it to the rest of the salad because it's just a binder. And this, like all of our other salads, only gets better when you put it in the fridge and let it all kind of meld together. And I just tossed a huge handful out over there. But see, that mayonnaise helps it deflate just a little bit. So we are celebrating in true messy kitchen Monday fashion by making one more kind of mess in here. <laughs> But this salad is a delight for the senses because you have that wonderful buttery cornbread and then you have the pop of all that fresh vegetable and then you have just a little added bit of the mayonnaise to kind of cream it up just a little. 
And then of course you got this smoky bacon and we're gonna dress the top of that with what we have left. And then the rest of our cheese. And it is gorgeous and delicious. Is that not beautiful? And that will feed a big crowd. <laughs> I'll probably, we'll probably be eating on this all week, won't we, Daddy? <laughs> so I'm gonna cover this, and then I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator to chill and just let all those flavors kind of meld together. Uh, and then we are going to enjoy this with the rest of our Memorial Day Fair. Um, this recipe is already up on the site. We're actually gonna go ahead and share it this afternoon because if you like what you see, uh, this will be good if you have a get together late today. Uh, and you can put it together really quickly like I just did. Like you could, as soon as we get done, you could go in there and you could <laughs> make your cornbread and let it cool and have it done and know, by probably two o'clock if you wanted to, but the recipe will drop later. Uh, but it's really easy and we hope that you all have enjoyed this month of our barbecue favorites just as much as we have uh, because this just kind of kicks everything off for us for the summer. Um, we start getting all these ideas about what we want to cook and what we want to do all summer long. And um, this is a great way to do it in the kitchen with the people that you love. So we hope that you enjoy whatever you're doing today. And then we hope that you remember the real reason that we're all on vacation today. And that we, uh, we remember those service members who paid the ultimate price for our freedoms. <clears throat> we hope that you'll be here next Monday. We'll be back to regular time at 7.30, and we will be kicking off a great month of cooking with kids, and we've got some really fun, really delicious recipes that you and the children in your life can enjoy cooking together. We hope that you will remember to share this video. Send me a direct message on Instagram to get entered to win, and later in the week, I'll make an announcement when we're gonna draw for that hardened seasoning. So uh, we appreciate y'all being here with us on your day off, and we hope you have a wonderful week, and uh, as always, from the better home to your home. We love y'all, bye.